memberships without voting rights. And I think the, the original wording of the membership makes it clear that that is forbidden. And I, I, apologies, we have seen um, other committees recently do things which the membership did not expect, uh, which hopefully we've now stopped. I think we need to close this barn door before more horses leave. Do we really need, do we need to debate this further? No. We're almost out of time. Is there, there's a motion to call the, Second. is there any objection to calling the question? Objection. All those wishing to speak, please either stand or raise your hands. All right, all those in favor of calling the question, please raise your hands. All those opposed, please raise your hands. I'm gonna say the ayes have it, the ayes do have it. The question is called. We are currently on Ms. Olson's motion to amend, to change sell to provide. All those in favor of changing that one word, please raise your hands. Hands down, all those opposed. I'm gonna say the no's have it, the motion fails. Do we need to debate the underlying motion any further? Mr. Bloom, for what purpose does the member rise? I would like to speak against. You have time against. Yeah. Yep. How much time is left? 55 seconds. Mr. Chairman, I'm Kent Bloom again. Could, could you? And I, I'm really doing the best I can with the mic. It's really pointed right at me. I don't have a hand free. Thank you. Um, I just want to, to repeat my usual objection to putting these things in the Constitution. They're unenforceable. They're, 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 they're useless. And all they do, if they, they're no more effective than a continuing resolution of the business meeting because we have no way of, of, of doing anything to a Worldcon that does something different from this. Uh, I think there are likely to be Worldcons that want to have membership structures somewhat different than this. Uh, and although I think this is the right thing to do, I don't think we can, we, we can actually require it. Dr. Adams, for what purpose is the member? All right. You 15 seconds on each side. The yeah, there is the motion to call the question is out of order with less than a minute of debate time left. Andrew Adams, this motion would have effect because anybody could come to the business meeting and uh, would therefore have the right to attend the business meeting even if the convention had sold membership which they were told did not have that right. Is there any speech against? There's like 10 seconds left. Mike Van Helder. Uh, very briefly, I've been attending Worldcons for 15 years. If in the first five years I've had attended Worldcon, there had been a membership on offer which included full attendance but did not include the right to come to a business meeting, which was about as fun as a root canal at 20, I would have happily taken it. Can I get your name? Uh, I, Mike Van Helder. Oh, okay. I'd like to put the question to the floor. Is there any objection to that? Yes, okay, so we're out of time anyways, yay. Um, uh, all those in favor of the underlying motion, which is B.2.9, please raise your hands. All right, hands down, all those opposed. The ayes appear to have it, the ayes do have it. B.2.9 has its first passage. We have one more item of business. It is currently 12.53. I would really like to beg the meeting to just stay what, it, technically it will be one minute over if we just use the debate time to get yeah, through this like last beat. We should be so lucky. Mr. Yellow, for what purpose does the member rise? Please come to the microphone. <laughs> Next page, 26. If you're asking for bathroom, like I am one of the makers of the motion, and I have a division heads meeting that will happen essentially immediately after this meeting. Since the debate time, as we know, will expand, I would like to wait until tomorrow because I'd really like to debate my own motion. I speak against that. 
I don't think it's really. Ben, Ben, I have a problem because I have to leave tomorrow, no later than two forty-five, to make my plane home. There's a, there's a, this microphone. Yes, Mr. Stanley. For what purpose? For what purpose does the member rise? Given that Mr. Gallo seemed to forget that he could do so, I move to adjourn. Second. The motion had already been made, but he didn't make it. He, he made it. <laughs> I just didn't have a microphone that was turned on to recognize him. There is this. Is there any objection to adjourning for the day? Yes. 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 All right. We're going to vote on adjourning. All those in favor of adjourning for the day, please raise your hands. Hands down. All those opposed. I'm going to say the noes have it. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Breitbart, for what purpose does the member rise? Oh, God. Move to amend the motion. Please come to the microphone. Seth Breitbart, I move to amend the motion to say, except that in the case of death of a natural person holding a supporting membership, it may be transferred to or from the estate of the decedent. Letting it die in the estate is not useful. There's a second. Uh, Mr. Yallo, do you want to speak against the amendment? Please come to the microphone. I thought it was going to be quick enough. Point of information, am I correct that once a membership has been transferred to the estate of a person, it is no longer held by a natural person, but is instead held by an estate, which is, by definition, not a natural person? I am, I am, yes. As not a legal scholar, yes. <laughs> okay, we are now in debate on the, that was, an, do you, Mr. Yellow, do you wish to speak in favor of your motion or, okay, then. We can put you on the podium, you know. What this motion does... Pick up the mic. Ben Yallo. What this motion does is it separates membership in the society, of which we are all members of the World Science Fiction Society as a part of this particular body, and the right to attend the annual meeting of the society. What this says is, you join the society because you believe in the principles of the society, you believe in the activities of the society, you want to join the society, and you make that decision irrevocably. However, the decision, which is frequently based on things like, I don't have enough money, or I do have enough money, or things like that, to attend the annual meeting of the society, which is this, should clearly be able to be transferable. But if you're in, you're in. There is also, besides the philosophical question, the administrative question. Speaking as a site past site selection administrator and past Hugo administrator, it is an almost impossible task to verify who has what rights, particularly because they tend to get transferred and we lose track. It makes site selection and Hugo administration far more feasible. Ms. Denneroff, a speech against? I spoke with Bruce Farr about this uh, earlier this weekend, and he says that very few people actually transfer the memberships with voting rights. It is not an administrative nightmare. It would make it harder for people to join the Worldcon, to attend the Worldcon, because these days people speculate, I'll buy a membership now, and if I can't go, I can sell my membership. If we put this restriction in, we will have fewer people buying their memberships because they won't know until the last minute whether or not they can attend. Is there a speech in favor 